Welcome back. It's a joy to see you again. We're going to look at this fourth real ingredient of having a quality uh, devotion time. Learning to start a daily devotional life will greatly, greatly increase your understanding and knowledge of who God is. So we've looked at number one, find a place. Number two, set a time. Number three, prepare your place. And today, number four, we're going to look at what items can help you along with your Bible in your time of devotion, your time of communion with God. Some even refer to this time as a quiet time. You know, there's other good resources that are good to have in your place that you meet with God. So we always have our Bible. That's very important. I like to have a Bible that's a little larger print. Um, I like to have a Bible that I can read very easily because the words are a good size for me to read. That's very important, having a Bible. Now, where, where can you start in the Bible when you're beginning your prayer time? Well, what I like to do is I like to read a proverb a day. There's 31 books, 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs. And so on uh, October 1st, coming up here in just a few days, in my quiet time, I'll read Proverbs chapter 1. On October the 2nd, I'll read Proverbs chapter 2. Then I'll read Proverbs chapter 3 and so forth. So those are some great starting points on where to read in the Bible. I also like to have some other devotionals with me. One of my favorites is the one that was put together by Oswald Chambers' wife. It's called My Utmost for His Highest. And this is a daily devotional. It has a verse of scripture, a comment on that scripture, and this one is a journal that allows me to write my insights down from that morning's devotional. So what you do is you go to the date. So today's date I would find in here, and it would simply be at the top of the page, September 28th. The Bible verse is Mark 10, 21. One thing thou lackest, come, take up the cross and follow me. And then I would read this devotional thought. Something else that I enjoy to read is this devotional. It's a collection of prayers and devotions. And the title of this is The Valley of Vision. And these are neat poems. They're inspiring thoughts. They're insights that God has given other men and women that can help encourage your thinking in your time of prayer. Um, here is a journal that I like to keep in my uh, prayer place. Um, it's just a journal with blank pages. And I like to keep a pen by. And as you can see, I've written in this journal as well things that God has spoken to me in my time of prayer. That way I can reflect back on that. Uh, another one that I enjoy to read is called Streams in the Desert. That is a great one. But there's many that you can find. This one is called A Journey Towards Hope. And it's just something with scripture, devotional thoughts that can help you. This one is called Living in the Light. And you can just read through these devotional thoughts each day to help inspire you as you are spending time with God. Don't be afraid to use resources. Don't be afraid to read things to, to help you understand who God is from the insight that others have found in their devotional time. God bless you. Have a great day.